Anyone here play video games? OK, right. Everyone does. But um, I never really played a lot of video games, but all of our training to do the robotics is like a big video game. When I went to space, we didn't have this window that could look out, so we had to do everything with the, the monitors there that you see. So that's the robotics workstation on the station. We have a shuttle arm, and we have a station arm. So what we do is we grab the payloads out of the payload bay of the shuttle, present them to the station arm. That's what's going on here. This is one of our pallets that we took up on SCS 122. About 30,000 pounds of cargo that we put up on the space station. So that goes up, and then we grapple it with the station arm, and then put it in place on the space station. So that's a way that we actually can service the space station when the space shuttle goes away. We'll have all of that hardware up there, like control moment gyros, pumps, spare parts for the, uh, for the robotic arm. Those things are there pre-positioned, ready to uh, be used. So that's uh, working in space. Next slide. So after you work in space, you do all these things, you've got to come home. So this is a fly around, kind of sped up a little bit but a fly around of the space station as the shuttle goes around it. So we want to take pictures of it, make video of it to make sure that there's no damage on the station. So we actually send these pictures back down to the ground and they can kind of assess the station. Now the station is about as long as the football field. And you have all of these different modules put together with from, uh, people from all over the world. It's a great international program. And when I was up there, we had so many people working hard together. I had to learn some Russian. Sandy spent a lot of time in Russia working, Japan, Germany, all over the world to get this International Space Station done. So that's another part of working in space, coming home. Next slide. And from this vantage point, you see so many beautiful colors. When you look out the window, you sometimes see the, the Earth limb is where the sun is rising. We don't have that picture here, but the Caribbean, the colors of the water are so beautiful aqua, teal, blue, all these colors. You almost need new definitions to define what the colors are because they're just so strikingly rich. And it's just one of the most beautiful things when you see out the window the planet going by you. You're going by every 90 minutes around the planet. And so you see so many you know, snow-capped mountains, the oceans. The, uh, I was looking down at my friend's house with a zoom lens to see what he was doing. <laughs> but you can see so many really cool things. And uh, it's just an amazing, amazing sight.